Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make collie tots. Um, I love having these when I have burger night. Um, they freeze very well. You could take them out and you could put them in the air fryer to uh, heat them up again. So uh, the very first step you're going to do is get yourself some rice cauliflower in a bag like this that you can steam in the microwave. Um, I went ahead and did this for five minutes and now um, I'm just letting it cool down so I can go ahead and use this bag to get all the water out of it, okay? So that's gonna be your first step because, um, and put, you know, that way this is to the side cooling down while you're putting all the other ingredients together. All right, uh, my next step is I'm gonna take out my little tray. These are my little mini um, muffin. And this is where I put, sometimes I do roll them like little tots, um, but I'm gonna put them in here today. And um, if you have that, you can use one of these and you would spray it down, okay? Hey guys, while your steamed cauliflower rice is cooling down, you can put all the rest of the ingredients together. This is one third cup of shredded sharp cheddar cheese, one fourth of a cup of grated Parmesan, two tablespoons of almond flour, a half teaspoon of an all seasoning mix, one eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper and one egg. All right, guys, so your next step um, is to put your cauliflower rice in this um, nut bag. This is going to take out all that extra water that's in there. You could already see it dripping right there. So you're gonna squeeze all this out. If it's too hot, continue to wait until it completely cools down until you can handle it, okay? All right, guys, so I'm going to show you here how um, all this is, all the water that's going to come out here and just going to squeeze it out. Still a little hot, but not too bad. And you're just going to continue to do that until all of the water is drained out, okay? Hey, guys, so uh, I'm done draining the water. Um, I just wanted to tell you, go get these guys. Um, they're on Amazon. They're under 10 bucks. They're called nut bags, and if you use a lot of um, zucchini and cauliflower rice, this is a way to get the water out. I used to use a bunch of napkins, honestly. I think one of my videos shows me using a bunch of napkins. This is so much easier. The only thing is you have to make sure that your uh, whatever you've riced and you need to get the liquid out, um, it is uh, very, it's, you know, it's not hot because you'll burn your hands, okay? So I waited about 15, 20 minutes before I tried it, okay? And there you go, that's what the, ca uh, the cauliflower will look like. And now we're gonna go ahead and mix all this up. All right guys, here's the mix. And now you're gonna set up um, your mini muffin silicone tray here. Um, I like to put it under a cookie sheet because these are very flimsy. I sprayed it down and now I'm gonna fill them. All right, guys, so I'm filling these up. You don't fill them up all the way. It's just almost like halfway because you want them like um, little tots. So halfway, and then I just use one finger to press it down, just like that. Let's do one more. And I'll just get a little more here. So just be patient. This is like, you know, takes a little patience here to do that. Hey, guys. So here are the tots ready to go in the oven. I forgot to mention you are gonna have your oven preheated to 400 degrees. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna bake them for 15 minutes on one side. You're gonna remove this tray and carefully turn each one around and bake for another 15, okay? All right guys, after about 15 minutes, um, Carefully take them out of the oven, and now we're going to go ahead and flip them. If you have a small spatula, I, that's, this is what I would recommend. Just a little one that can go right inside and flip them, okay? All right, guys, so I'm just going to show you here real quick. You don't even need to use a finger. You just kind of comes right up like this, and then just flip it, okay? I'll show you one more. Don't even need to use a finger or anything. Guess you could use a glove if you need a finger though. 
All right, just like that, and you turn all of them around, put them back in the oven for an additional 15 minutes. All right, guys, they've all been turned over. Takes just a few minutes, and once again, you're gonna put them back in the oven, okay? 15 more minutes. 